Now business booming. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Now business booming. What's going on, FaZe Clan? Quit here diving right into this week's FaZe update. FaZe Clan members Scissors and Nate Hill were invited to Netflix's new movie, Bird Box Experience. After the experience, Scissors, Nate Hill, Nade Shot, and Shroud all squatted up together on Call of Duty Blackout for a sponsored stream to talk about the film. As you may have heard, FaZe Clan just released its new Supreme Team collection. These are permanent, real crayon graphic on authentic blank Supreme tees, and they were only available on the FaZe Clan website for 48 hours. So these are very limited, and we just wanted to give a congratulations to anyone out there who was lucky enough to cop one. Just wanted to give a quick little congratulations to the man FaZe Thieves for racking up 1 million views on his IG post joining FaZe Clan. Thief who has just reached the 7 million mark for YouTube subscribers as well, so huge congratulations to Tifu, and also congratulations to FaZe member Swan for reaching the big 1 million subscribers on YouTube. I'm just kind of stopping by the FaZe channel just to say what's up because I just hit a million subscribers on YouTube about 7 years in. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. I know I haven't been on this channel very much recently, but uh, I figured this was a good time to say what's up and uh, say thanks to anyone and everyone who has supported me. And we're still going. So once again, thanks everyone. In case you missed it, those who attended Rolling Loud in LA last weekend, you may have saw Lil Yachty make the announcement that he was officially joining FaZe Clan. Well, we're here to tell you that the rumors are indeed true. FaZe Boat is official, and Banks, Temper, Adapt, Apex, and Rice Gum all joined Yachty on stage, tossing limited edition FaZe Boat shirts into the growing crowd. Shout out to anyone who actually acquired some of those shirts, but don't worry if you didn't get anything, the shirts will be coming soon to the FaZe Clan merch website. As you know, Fortnite released a new mode called Creative, and Scissors put in some serious work building out the impossible map. This map is essentially a death run map where you try to complete a course while avoiding anything that will eliminate you. Jack actually ended up tweeting out the map and a bunch of other Fortnite creators are trying to complete the course themselves. Again, the map is called the impossible map, so if you want to try it yourself, if you're bold enough, go ahead. Speaking of scissors, he has also just released some merch, so go check it out at phaseclan.com while pieces are available. Looks like FaZe Chao was invited to battle it out alongside Lumi, Ashix, and Deadmoss with 12 fans at the launch of the new OGN Esports LA studio. They ended up taking home the win for $20,000 and donated all of it to Extra Life Charity. Shout out to Cheo and everyone at the event for doing something special. Tifu held a fan meetup in Tokyo last week. Thank you and shout out to all the fans for coming out. Now let's head right into the esports recap. Last Friday in Phase Cod, Asim from FC Black along with members Blue Agony Kitty and Dirty competed against other professional Call of Duty players in the community on Dr. Disrespect's first ever console code red blackout tournament. Shout out to Zuma and Asim for taking the dub in six grand and following second place the duo attach and act Accuracy, placing third and receiving 1500. In Counter Strike news, over the weekend, our CSGO team traveled to Lisbon, Portugal for Blast Pro Series. We ended up finishing the event in fifth place, taking home $10,000, and also won the pro standoff against Cloud9, bringing home another 20 grand. The Fortnite Korea Open 2018 just happened last weekend, where Tifu was invited to compete along with Korea's top athletes, musicians, entertainers, and streamers. Tifu and his duo Kitty Plays won multiple awards during the duos event, including the Most Elimination Award, the Demolition Man Award, and the Champion Award. Totaling up to about 120 million South Korean won, it was all donated to the University of North Carolina Children's Program and the Kelowna Women's Shelter. Congratulations to Tifu and Kitty Plays. And to close things out here, it looks like FaZe Rainbow Six had their final game of the year against Ninja in Pajamas. And now let's head right into the week's top five plays with this week's theme being Quickscope. First on the list, we have Tempo's Nasty Midair Quickscope. Woo! Nice night. I stepped it out of midair. Diamok is up with an absolute laser of a shot. Oh! Next up on the list, we have Nate Hill showing us why we watch him. I think your mother Coming up, we have Cloaksy with his nasty plane shot followed up by another kill. Die. Next up, we have Clips with his zipline double kill. Anyways, that about wraps up this week's update. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and comment, and we'll see you in the